and we've successfully built a movement. Now, they fear that. They fear it. And it, this isn't about the movement that was built when I was put in prison, illegally put in prison. 30,000 people marched on the streets, 700,000 people signed petitions. A movement was built. That movement wasn't about me as an individual. It was about a feeling of people who feel voiceless, who feel betrayed. And I'm not perfect, and I don't say I'm perfect. I don't claim to be standing here polishing a halo on my head. Okay? And the fact that I'm not perfect, the fact that I am, I am every one of you. We all make mistakes. But the difference is, I generally care. I love our country. I love you. I love our people. Okay? And for too long, for too long, for too long, British people have stood and watched, quite literally, as our country has been desecrated, it's been raped, it's been abused. And I'm asking every one of you, please give me the satisfaction of walking in there on the 23rd of May. I'm already saying if support turns to votes, we're winning. What I need, what I, what I need from you, I need you to talk to everyone you know. People, I've never voted. To any of you people here who haven't voted, how many people have never voted? How many people don't vote? I've never vote. I had never ever voted. Because I look at them all, and I've got nothing in common with them. And I know they're liars, and I know they don't care, and I know they're in it for a career. Talking of careers, do you see how much money they get? They get £86,000 a year. They only pay 12% tax. We pay a basic of 20% tax. Then we pay 40% tax to anyone who is successful. They pay 12% tax. £300 a day they get in expenses without showing any receipts. It is one big gravy train. That's what it is. I want you, not just as a protest, this isn't necessarily for me about asking people for a protest. I'm asking you to ignite the fire. I'm asking you to light something up in working class people across this country so we can realise our power. We have the power. We are the majority. We just need to realise our own strength.